Okay, so in this next section, we're going to kind of jump backwards. What we did earlier, um, like way earlier, like in a previous class, uh, we talked a lot about intervals and uh, the importance of identifying intervals. What we're going to do now is jump back and fill in some of those gaps. So we talked about what a perfect fifth is, what a minor third is, what a major second is, and all those things. But I want to spend this next section talking about intervals again uh, to fill in more details about intervals and to kind of stress the importance of intervals. So we're going to talk a little bit about um Intervals in this next section, a little bit of it will be review, um, but most of it will be new. Um, so in order to do this, I want to introduce in this first video in this section, a new concept, or uh, it's not necessarily a new concept, new vocabulary word. Um, the difference between melodic intervals and harmonic intervals. Okay, so this, uh, that sounds a lot fancier than it is. Pretty simple idea. I have two intervals, two two intervals here, really. This is one between F and A, and this is one between F and A. Now we would call this a harmonic interval and this one a melodic interval. All I'm saying here is a harmonic interval are, is when the interval is, both notes of the interval are played at the same time. A melodic interval is when they're played sequentially, one after the other, right? So you can think about that as like harmonic interval means like harmony, right? Like a harmony are notes that are played at the same time. So if something is harmonic, it is notes that are played at the same time. Melodic intervals are like a melody, right? Imagine a singer singing a melody. Singer can't sing two notes at a time. Okay, mild disclaimer, everyone always, whenever I say that, they point out like, oh, there are these like monks that can sing multiple notes at a time. Yeah, that's true. But uh, most people can't sing two notes at a time. So a melodic interval is an interval where the notes are separate. They're played one after the other. There's still intervals though. Okay, so melodic intervals and harmonic intervals are a concept that is gonna be important to know uh, going forward. And really what it means is that when we're looking for intervals, whether they are harmonic or melodic, they are still intervals, right? Like this is still a major third between these two notes. And this is a major third between these two notes. Yes, one is a harmonic interval and one is a melodic interval, but they are still an interval of a major third. Get it? So um, whether or not it's harmonic or melodic, the interval is still the interval. So keep that in mind. Okay, so up next I want to talk about identifying intervals. We've done it with half steps and whole steps. We've done it by just counting whole steps. We've done it by looking at chords. But what I want to do now is get into how to identify intervals quickly using a couple tricks. Just by looking at them, um, there are a couple kind of visual landmarks we can use to identify intervals. So let's do that next.